Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kavi Arquez. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today we're going to be talking about this beautiful curly highlight wig. You guys wanted color wigs for the summer and I told you don't worry about it. I got you sis. Let's jump into all the details about today's install. Today's hair sponsor is Sophia Wigs. This is actually my first collaboration with them. Today I have installed a 24 inch 13 by four Jerry Curl Honey Blonde Highlight Wig, color 427. Hey guys, welcome back. So I did try to bleach the knots. I don't know how much it lifted, but I think it lifted a bit. I bought a lot of new products. I'm gonna be trying some today. So I bought this Pump It Up Gold uh, Styling Spritz. I saw the girls on TikTok trying these spritz sprays. So I bought these. We're gonna try these today in the install to uh, melt the lace after we do that. Because if you don't know around here, we like to do glueless installs. So that's what we're going to be doing. I hope I'm not looking too, too lat skin on this camera. Is that better? I don't, I normally come with my hair just like flat back, ready to go. My natural hair is so fine. I mean, all I can really do is put it in a bun. My allergies. So I'm just removing like the makeup. You guys hear me sniffling a lot. That's because of my allergies. I have severe seasonal allergies. Okay, so right off the bat, I could tell that this lace is fragile. So be careful with her when you are installing her. That is new. I have not yet seen a lace this color before. It's like transparent with a tinge of yellow. I'm gonna go in with my Evan spray. You guys, I burnt my forehead so good the other day. So with this install, I'm aiming for like a few days hold because I don't actually have to film another wig review in the next like at least two days. So I'm going to apply more layers of the uh, holding spray and I really am tempted to have like put some foundation on that lace But I didn't want to do that because I wanted you guys to see what the wig looked like Freshly out of like the box kind of I did bleach the knot So it's not a hundred percent fresh out of the box But you know what I mean like I wanted you guys to see what it looks like without me tampering the hairline color um, in the beginning so that's why I didn't do that Somebody asked for colored wigs and I hope you are happy, girl. I told you I got you. 
This wig is looking so beautiful. That's why I don't like spraying it like that. It just gets everywhere, but. Be testing out um, those sprays, those spritz sprays. I'm gonna tell you which one I like the most. On the areas that's looking like it's not 100% secured, like it needs some more, and I'm just spraying some more. Now I think we can try the spritz spray and see what it do. I'm going to try this one. I've seen this one on TikTok. This one is by Fantasia. It's Liquid Mousse Mega Hold Spritz. Doesn't say to blow dry, but. And then I'm gonna use the other one on my other. Ooh, this thing is messy, child. And taking off all my makeup. Seems like it's lifting it. Okay. Do we notice the difference? You guys tell me. Okay, so this this is kind of like a thick, thicker gel spray consistency. So they're definitely both runny. It's more runny. I don't think I like that one. Look at it, you guys. The entire thing lifted up. Mm -mm. I'm gonna have to practice on how to use this one. Do you see this one? It made a huge mess. Don't get this one. Whatever you do, do not get this one because it ain't it. Just made a huge mess. Oh my God. The last thing I wanted to do was create more work for myself. So you know what? I'm gonna wait. <laughs> it's made the hair all crunchy. Oh my goodness. First of all, this side's like refusing to lay flat now. Look, it's not doing, oh my goodness. That thing's the antichrist. I can't even take it back and get a refund. I ordered it online. This product was not like it was advertised. I'm sorry, but no. But this side is fine. But what's going on over here? Jeez. I'm gonna have to try this method again because this lace is a totally different color than any other lace I've ever had. So that alone is throwing me off. But let's just get back to the install. For the rest of this, I'm just gonna be styling the baby hairs and the sideburns. So I'm just gonna clean up the wig and maybe add some tinted mousse because that spray didn't really do what it needed to do. So when I do this, I like to go in with a rag after and reapply if needed. I think I like this one better. I'm gonna go back in and try it again. If you shake it, it works much better. Edge Booster Stronghold. Should we have try this one? Or should we try Play and Stay? This one has 48 hour hold. This one is by Eco Style. Let's try this one. 48 hour hold, okay. I'll be the judge of that. Okay. Oh, you know what? It's like making it greasy. I don't know if I want it greasy. I think I'm not gonna use that. It does work though, but I'm gonna rub it out. I mean, it looks pretty good actually. What should we use? Let's use this. This is the holding gel by Eben. I don't think I paid for this. I think I got this as a as a gift because I've been spending all my money there. sideburns so crunchy oh my gosh listen that's the best it's gonna be okay guys this review is gonna be like 10 hours long so that's where i put that eco product and it's like lifting up so if you don't want your edges to stay crunchy use some of that before and it won't be hard all day because it doesn't want to stay down so guys as much as you know we would like to think oh i'm a professional I'm a professional at styling hair that's like real hair, on your head hair, growing out of your head, Caucasian people hair, 
you know i'm not actually like trained in this like i didn't go to hair school to to do wigs and you know learn about the styling products like at least not my hair school in canada i don't know about the hair school in the states but the ones here they don't teach you this they don't teach like all they teach you is like maybe uh you know the different types of extensions and that's it and like and if you guys are like me then you've come to the right place because i like to learn with you guys so i'm gonna finish this side my camera is overheating so i'm gonna come back because i've been talking too much anyway okay so this is what it looks like now how i want to wear it is kind of just like that with no part but i want to show you guys the part anyway just so you can see so that is her parted we've done this parted look so many times i want to like not do that today now this is 24 inch but y'all this is a jerry curl wig so it's giving like short i'm gonna be using a foaming lotion this one and a lot of it definitely on the ends the ends are feeling a little dry so this is really gonna define the curls. So immediately after I comb through it, I like to scrunch. shedding it's not the smallest amount but it's not the most it's not like the absolute most now of course if you just wanted to use water you could definitely do so or you could also use like some conditioner whatever your preference is right i want it to dry with no part so i'm kind of just like finessing it a little bit and then i'm so i'm gonna let it dry and then we're gonna come back very different transparent lace than I've ever seen so this transparent lace it's more on like a yellowish tinge color it is not like your traditional like really light white ish transparent lace which I actually prefer because it seems like it's a mix between a transparent and an HD so it wants to be a bit of both which I'm not mad at it melted in a lot easier than like your traditional transparent lace I definitely prefer the wig to be lighter when it comes to lace rather than than darker so I can fix a lighter lace no problem but when the lace is darker it's a lot harder so I'm not even mad at that but you guys at 24 inch it is definitely going to be stretch length 24 and I say 24 stretch length that's even pushing it you guys um it's giving me like 18 inches it's definitely not styled like 24 but you get your 24 inch when you stretch it so keep that in mind you guys if you're ordering this thinking it's going to be a long 24 inch that's going to be you know touching your belly button or anything like that sorry to break it to you it's not the case with this unit now the parting space on it is a bit scarce on the side two to two and a half inches on the side and then you get your parting space your four down the middle so down the middle it is pretty deep in the parting space area that right here is where the lace ends it's still a beautiful wig you guys i'm obsessed with the density now the density is where it's at you guys 210 percent i'm used to 200 percent but 210 percent okay sis a uh, yes definitely bleach your knots at least do that and you can get away with not having to like do really intense plucking sometimes i do sometimes i don't but i would prefer to show you guys the wig 
how it comes for the most part besides not bleaching the knots like I cannot not bleach the knots on certain wigs like I just have to it's so much easier to install it when you bleach the knots so um yeah now guys we tried a few products in this install that I ordered online at my beauty supply shop but then I saw the girls on TikTok using these spritz so I'm going to give this spritz a, another try but this one I don't know guys I'm gonna try it out again but maybe on a wig that I'm really familiar with because this one was not where it's at at all don't like this didn't do anything it actually removed the lace so maybe use this one if you're actually using glue but this one here the Fantasia spritz you can definitely use it with a glueless method like uh, hairspray so I did use it on this side and as you can see like this wig is not going anywhere you guys like with the ebon spray and the spritz like she's not going anywhere and like i said i wanted to keep this on for a few days when it comes to glueless wigs this hold is like it's not going anywhere like i did use that and i also used uh the foaming lotion to style the curls and define the curls it is giving it a nice hold but it's giving like wet look but it's not wet at all and i tried to let it air dry naturally but i was impatient i was like oh my god i want to see what it looks like so i did hit it with the blow dryer and I kind of pick through it just to define her. This wig is gorgeous. I love how the curls look with the styling foam. It's it's soft, but it's defined. It looks wet, but it's dry. You know what I mean? Like it's it's just really giving me like everything I need from a curly wig. As for the baby hairs, we did the most today. Almost touching my eyebrows, which I normally never do them that far out. But I'm here for it. With this style, I kind of swooped over. I think it looks really cute. This is what it looks like up close. Definitely recommend you guys checking them out. The hair feels soft. There was some shedding, but it wasn't anything major. I know this video is really, really long, you guys, but I really wanted to get my points out there so you guys know because you know my videos are always 100% transparent and honest. I'm going to leave all the information to Sophia Wigs in the description box below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe button is going to be somewhere there, but you know where you need to click if you haven't done so already. I'll catch you guys later. Bye!